Hello, I'm Crosby Dunn coming to you live in another pre-recorded message. Welcome to Fountain TV. We have a special campus crime edition for you this week, or as we like to call it, the Get Drunk, Smoke Weed and Shoot Guns edition. We invite you to sit back and enjoy these tales of ineptitude and inebriation from around campus. The names have been omitted. These people have been humili humiliated enough already. But of course you can find the names in our police report section on the website, myfountainonline.com. Let's begin. Three guys who were sitting around an apartment in Bear Village about 1 a.m. when one of them began wondering how far the BB gun they had in the room would shoot. Well, instead of calculating the distance safely on paper, he decided to test it in a more practical matter of, of firing it outside. As fate would have it, a man called campus police to report that he had been shot with a BB gun. Officers pieced it all together and took away their little toy. They could be in more trouble though. A BB gun is considered a weapon on campus. Detectives are investigating. Then we add the 18 year old student who was so mad at another student that she decided to solve the problem herself by getting her uncle to solve it for her. The girl told the object of her scorn that her uncle was coming to campus and would beat his ass. The guy reported the threat and told police that his girlfriend's cousin bumped into the girl at a party days earlier, and the girl had been insulting and threatening him since. The guy said he wasn't afraid of the girl's uncle, he just wanted her to leave him alone. There wasn't much the officer could do, but we haven't seen any police reports of the student getting beat up yet. We'll keep looking for you. Imagine this one along with me. You and a friend are walking along the sidewalk on the west side of Hughes Hall at about 10.30 p.m. A man approaches you with a small dog on a leash. Without warning, the dog rushes forward and bites you on the back of the leg, leaving a two-inch bloody gash. Well, that's what happened to a 20-year-old student from Litterog. Police called for an ambulance after they saw her wound, but she didn't go to the hospital. Police confirmed that the dog had all its shots, but it still has to be quarantined for 10 days. Now for the Puff Puff Pass report. We had the 18-year-old student who was busted for doing a wake and bake walking across campus. Officers found a glass pipe and a grinder in his pocket. They searched his room in Arkansas Hall, but only found empty beer cans. He got J-board citations for alcohol and drug violations and for smoking on campus. Five guys smoking weed in a Bear Village apartment were busted after officers smelled it outside the apartment and decided to search the place. It was filled with smoke, and all the occupants admitted to smoking pot in the bathroom earlier. Police searched the apartment and found the remains of two burnt hand-rolled cigarettes in the toilet. The officers didn't fish it out and listed it on their reports as an unknown substance. One of the students, a 19-year-old guy from Popular Bluff, was given a J-board citation for a drug violation and a ticket for violating the State Clean Air Act by smoking on campus. And now we have three cases for our DWI Roundup. A 26-year-old Morton woman got confused trying to turn onto Dayboard Drive. She stopped in the intersection and an officer approached her. She told him she was fine, thanked him for his help, then drove away. The wrong way on Dave Ward. Police stopped her after several blocks and arrested her. She registered a .15 on the breathalyzer test. Police found a student sitting in his car with the motor running while parked in a handicapped spot about 7 a.m. He blew a .09 first, but after demanding to try again, he ended up blowing a .1. Good job, champ. Then there was a 22-year-old Conway woman who was passed out in her car in the middle of the street in front of Conway Hall. Police found her slumped over the steering wheel. They also discovered that she had an active warrant when they took her to jail. That's it for this time. Join us next week for Fountain TV.